take it away, Rod Such. Uh, I was here last April with you when you all testified about uh, Oregon's investments in corporations that are helping to plunder and violate human rights in the Philippines. I was testifying for Jewish Voice for Peace because we had discovered that the Oregon Treasury was also invested in an Israeli spyware company named the NSO Group. Uh, NSO Group, which has been documented and exposed for years for violating human rights around the globe, and still our Treasury had had a more than a 14 year long investment in this spyware group. Yeah. Then we discovered that uh, the Oregon Treasury was also invested in Israel's largest private military contractor, Elbit Systems. And now we have discovered that Treasury is invested in Israeli bonds, directly invested in the Israeli government, which is carrying out a genocide in Gaza. Every time we approach the Oregon Treasury and the Oregon Investment Council, we hear the refrain, we must get the best possible return for our public employees pension fund. Best possible return, that's what we hear over and over again. But in fact, we are investing in our own self-destruction. We are investing in a corporation Corporations that are destroying our climate, that are plundering our resources, and this is nothing but destruction of the, of the planet, destruction on a global scale. They are invested in military contractors that are responsible for war. War is an injury to all. War is a, investing in your own self-destruction. War and militarism, it's nothing but self-destruction. It is time for us to start investing in people. It is time for us to start investing in nature. It is time for us to get away from investing in the corporate system that is uh, exploiting and destroying the world. We have to name the system. We have to name the system that is behind this. It's a system of settler colonialism, neo-colonialism, imperialism. This is the system that we confront. We have to replace that system. We have to confront power, and we have to become the power. The people need to become the power. We need to end imperialism. We need to end settler colonialism. I can recall vividly reading Mark Twain's account of U.S. Marines massacring people in the Philippines. He compared it to shooting people like they were fish in a barrel. We see that every day now in Gaza. We see people, bombs dropping on people. We see people who are shot by snipers. They are killing people on a collective scale that amounts to genocide. Yeah. What we must do is we must connect our struggles, stop the plunder in the Philippines, stop the genocide in Gaza. That's right. <laughs>